Okay, hi. Um, if you're watching this, maybe you're interested in uh, our adventure to Santa Fe and my exploration of the colors. I'll be making these little video segments. And if you're interested, you can watch them and I'll explain. Um, uh, first of all, this is the first one. So this will be day one. And if you're following the 12 days of Christmas, you're watching this on Christmas. So Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, and if you're not, well, Merry Christmas anyway. <laughs> um, when you opened your packet, uh, please saw all the little wrapped uh, mini skeins. And also you got one of these, which is made by a friend of mine. There we go. There we go. Um, and made by a friend of mine. Uh, and it's my little Christmas present to you, Dreamcatcher. Um, and I have my, you'll hear, you know, <laughs> Mia says Merry Christmas. She's in the back. Um, and I hang mine for my rear view mirror. I don't know if that's, <laughs> um, I don't know if that uh, is the proper, proper way to display it, but you could also hang it from your bed or near your bed if, you know, trying to catch all the bad dreams. Um, okay. So, and also hopefully it survived the journey in the mail. You got one of these, which has, is, is chocolate. It, I got it from Ruth Hunt Candy, also my Christmas present to you, Ruth Hunt Candy, which is about a mile down the road from me here in Mount Sterling. Um, and I picked this one because there's actually a casino, uh, the uh, Buffalo Casino near Santa Fe. And I just, I've always loved bison. I don't, I don't even call them Buffalo. I call them bison, American bison. Yeah, me is in the kitchen. <laughs> Um, and uh, so I just thought that was kind of emblematic of our visit to Santa Fe because there used to be oh, millions and millions of these around there. Um, but I wanted to give you a little chocolate too. Um, okay, so the pattern that I have chosen that I am knitting that you may or may not choose, um, I thought would be fun. There's, there is a progression of colors as, as the days go along. You could follow that progression, this, get something else, whatever. I'm gonna try and share my screen so that you can see um, the pattern if you haven't already looked at it, uh, if you haven't already gotten it. Um, let me see, share my screen. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, there we go. So this is the pattern, it's the knit version. But there is a crochet version. I don't know if any of you needed the crochet version, but there is a crochet version just like it. Um, and I'm including this pattern in your little kit, but you may choose this, you may choose something else. You can open all the colors at once, whatever works for you. But it is uh, designed to use um, uh, 20, well, you can use whatever amounts you want, which is what I love. But uh, it's, she kind of in the description, she kind of just um, writes a, that you could use 24, 10 grams. You guys are getting 12, 20 grams of fingering weight. And um, as you can see, you could do a mirror image on this scarf. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, it is, I, I picked this one because it is emblematic of the mountains of Santa Fe, around Santa Fe, there's mountains around Santa Fe. And I just thought, I love the, the zigzag, but not like a true chevron. I love the zigzag in the mountains. Um, and so I hope you guys like this pattern, even if you never use it. <laughs> if you use it for this, that's great. If you don't, it's great too. Um, and okay, here. All right, I'm going to show you day one's color. If you haven't already opened it, go ahead and open it. I want to, um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a second. Okay, I'm going to show you day one color. If you haven't already opened it. So maybe stop here and open it. But um, it is Christmas in the pines. Uh, Christmas pines all the time. That's what I call it. Christmas pines all the time. Now your monitor may show this differently, but it is a pine green specific to uh, the pines around the area. And I chose this because if you go to a place, first, what are you gonna do? Well, you're gonna either drive into the area or you're gonna fly into the area. And at the end of this video, I actually do have a cool flying video. 
Uh, and what are you going to see first? Uh, you're going to see all of the trees and the mountains around. So that's the pattern that effect is the mountains. And I actually, no, you wouldn't necessarily think that this is like a Santa Fe color, but when you arrive at the place, you're going to see all of the pines around and all the nature. So this is where we're starting. And it's also a Christmassy kind of color. Hmm, about screaming Christmas at you. Um, so uh, what I have started to do, so you've already seen the color. Um, I wound, of course, started knitting the pattern. And for that pattern, you could just knit that whole mini skein, all 20 grams of it. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is, is this. This is how I first started it. I did the I-cord I -cord, uh, cast on, which you may or may not choose to do, but I love an I-cord edge. And this is 10 grams of it. This is half of that mini skein because I think I'm gonna do the mirror image, which is kind of what it looks like in the pattern photo. So I have used my kitchen scale, and a nylon stocking here to keep it, um, to keep it uh, together, ball together. And this is the 10 gram that's left. I'm using my kitchen scale to go to make the, to tell me when to stop knitting the 10 grams. But if you don't wanna think, just knit all 20 grams and make your stripes a little wider if you're doing this pattern. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy that part. Um, there is the I-cord bind um, cast on. And like I said, you can choose that or not. That's really up to you. Um, but I really do like that. This is a Chevy, Chevron Ziggy bag. Uh, so now I'm going to show you some inspiration photos. Let me share my screen again. Uh, come on, here we go. Okay, this is kind of what I was thinking of. This is a photo uh, of the area, okay? And now I'm gonna give you something a little, a little video that's a little relaxing, where it's a video of a small airplane landing at the Santa Fe airport. You can, can, you can stop this video here if you're not interested, but I thought it was just like a, hey, we're visiting Santa Fe and it's just a couple minutes long. So you can watch this or not. And um, then uh, you'll get day two link um, later. So the rest of this video will just be, let's stop sharing that one. Let's go and sh oh, we got to find the video. Where's that video? Oh, geez. It's in here somewhere. Um, no, let me close that out. Where did it go? Oh, I'm trying to find it. Thank you for being patient if you're still watching. If you're not, no, that's fine too. Ah, uh, you're here, find it please. Okay, let me see if I'm sharing it. I hope you can hear this. I'm an expert at creating videos on my not. Okay, let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, maybe you'll be able to watch this. Hope you'll be able to. Well, it's just music, so here we go. Land of Fame, landing at the Santa Fe, New Mexico airport. See the mountains? See the pine trees? It's only two and a half minutes long. Oh, I see the airport up ahead. We're getting there. We're almost to Santa Fe. I have a friend who does fly small airplanes. So I have landed like this. It's not recently, but it's fun. Your stomach has to be a bit strong. Oh, I can see his instruments.
kind of like how you can see the propeller. The Santa Cruz Airport is not huge. It is a small airport. I don't think I've ever landed at it, even though I've been to Santa Fe. Here we go. Hopefully that worked. So uh, uh, you'll get another link for day two. Have you stuck with me this long? Well, thanks so much. Golfers. Oh. Look at them. There we go. <laughs> Something else started playing. I don't even know if you can hear that. But um, I'm going to stop recording and check with you.